Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero. We are going to be doing an Act 3 run with the old rogue here. I've set up, uh, set up a deck here. It's got slight differences, I guess, to the last time we played the Thief. In the fact that I'm going to be bringing the Blood Grove, since I realized we are able to bring it just by having the forest, because you can actually put the Blood Grove adjacent to a forest. You don't need a grove which is actually quite interesting. I think that that could be potentially a fun way to uh, utilize the ruins without having to need a grove nearby. Uh, we could also, you know, of course, have the blood grove near our base, everything like that. We have the outpost as well, which should be able to be utilized today since we're not playing with the necromancer. Uh, of course, spiders. We got village wheat fields, uh, treasury oblivion. Just like a really simple set of cards really there's only 11 cards here so theoretically this should be pretty good one would think one would think we are bringing in the uh the boost here to our arsenal where do we put this bad boy uh definitely not here 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 we're gonna or here we're gonna save or here we're gonna save all those for spiders holy moly we got a good set of stuff there uh spider spider can really put it anywhere you know it just doesn't doesn't matter too much but anywho there we go we got ourselves the necklace slot since we are playing as the thief and we got the uh the arsenal quite quite nice i'm excited to try out the outpost especially uh now that we're not the necromancer so we can see exactly how good it actually even is oh boy that's a lot of stuff okay put this here okay let's let's do this ruins ruins forest blood grove okay that's that's how that goes uh where can we put the village i mean because like you kind of want it near the end of the loop that's the most logical thing to do but boy this is spider central spider like there's gonna be spiders here here could have spiders on the same spots as scarecrows, but that means we are going to be fighting less enemies. Uh, this is tough, actually. We could say no to this and put this here. Say no to one set of spiders. Go village so that we get a heal right before the final boss, if we can hopefully get that today. Uh, so this wheat field, this wheat field, this... I think that we're gonna do that. We're gonna say, yeah, no to a single, just a single uh, spider spawn. How about that? How about that? Uh, but yeah, the fact that we can put a blood grove everywhere is gonna be quite nice. Obviously, uh, that that boss is going to be concerning. That is a that is a duh. That is a no duh. Okay, I kind of want to put down our village. If we wait, hold up. If we Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If we put down a village right here, isn't there nowhere that the blood golem can spawn? Life hack? Obviously, yeah, we get the thieves. Weird, very, very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Uh, I've been told that there's something you get for putting five of these in a row, but then, boy, we shouldn't have brought the uh, the wheat fields, I guess, if that was the case. So I'm going to put it down just so we get use out of it. Uh, so now we... Okay, actually, that's fine. I, I guess what we'll do... Is... Okay, so if we put this here, we can put a blood grow right here. I don't really care about that. We're going to put down these in spots where... Okay, so there's going to be a lot of overlap right there, but we can't even put down... Oh, yeah, we can put down a blood grove right there if we do this. That, that'll work. That's what we're just going to do for now. We're going to put this in spots where hopefully we can, uh, we can blood grove up things. Since it doesn't really matter where they are, we don't have the lightning tower... Uh, to do anything of import with that. Are we going to get any thieves, though, right now? 
that's the Q of the D for me. Just keep on putting these in spots where we maybe will get... Oh, there is a thief at the last second. Oh, but we get double, uh... Double help back there. That's... Okay. All right there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Magic, uh, uh HP. <laughs> Hamage. Uh, you know, damage with an H. Hamage. HP. 51 and damage to all five. Sounds good. Damage and crit chance. Sure. Uh... Crit chance. I'll take that over the extra HP there. Obviously, we don't have any boots. 2% or 2%. Oh, okay. Uh, relatively easy choice there. My question right now is, should I put down the Vampire Mansion? Oh, man. These are... They're, they're pretty helpful. They are pretty darn helpful. I mean, shall I? A bit silly I think if we do it if we do it now I think we'll be okay we do not have any road lanterns in this deck that's one big thing that we uh, uh, often bring that we did not bring today because you know we're gonna be we're doing the thief we're gonna be going for kind of a glass cannony focus build because I think that I think it can work well as long as you have the magic HP here if we do the magic HP theoretically you know like let's let's hypothetical we reduce the HP of everybody down to 1%. It's hypothetical. We still have a flat amount of magic HP. It's very dangerous, and we probably should not be doing that in particular. But it's not as dangerous. 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. Blood Grove, it's there. We're at eight. I don't think that the uh, the forest question mark enemies are that bad. So I think we'll be okay in that regard. This is a little spooky. I'm not going to deny. But we should be strong enough, and with especially with the, uh, the blood grove, it should be okay. All right, not bad. Not bad. Another thicket. I don't know how many blood groves we're truly going to get, and I don't know how many we should truly put down. They give us really good resources. Damage to all two, crit damage up, uh, evasion and defense, damage and magic damage. Just big damage up. Sounds good to me. All right, let's run. <laughs> let's run away now. Oh, this... Oh, this is nice. And then we have the blood groves to get a guaranteed KO so they can't run away. Oh, that's so nice. And we don't have to bring the Grove to do it, because the Grove actually kind of bodies the thief, I feel like. Often when we bring the Blood Grove to, to get those extra benefits, those Groves in particular are the thing that really ruin us. Uh, ooh. a little... I don't, I don't know. I don't love what I did there. So, yeah. We got the, the special village. Which hopefully won't be too bad. It might be. But I sure as heck hope it's not. There's the, the spooky fields that we could make. If we wanted. I don't know that we want to, though. Kind of fun. I never fill up the middle. You know, I never fill up the middle. It's pretty cute. All right. So far, so fine, though. It's working uh, about as well as I had expected. You know, the glass cannon -y sort of focus here. Let's do this quick. Uh... Bring in the old shield of faith there. 
Why not? All right, so we're gonna obviously want a blood grove there. Right here, right here. If we can get it. And we should be able to. Okay. So far, so fine. We're not taking, uh, we're not really taking red, I, I always say red health damage because of things like uh, Binding of Isaac and uh, Enter the Dungeon and everything. I say, yeah, red red health damage. You know what I'm saying, though. We're, it's all going to our magic HP. And we're, we're wrecking everything. Okay. This is like, this is the scariest fight we have, really, and it's not that bad, and it's right before our heal. And it is going to go away. It is not going to be here for very long. Yeah, I'm just going to surround the perimeter there. Okay. All right. Attack speed up. I very much want that. Huge max HP boost. I can deal with not taking that. There. Okay. We have no other weapons. All right. Okay, so these guys right here... Okay, we're not actually... We didn't even find any. 6% chance to redirect lightning from a storm temple or magical attack to a random enemy. Ooh! Actually very neat. those there. I, I, I'm not sure. I feel like they're probably a no, though. Blood Grove. We want that. Where did I say? Right here, for sure. Uh, treasury. I guess we'll put it down here. Outpost. What's really that? What, like, what's that concerning, really? I guess the scarecrows could be problematic. They're a wee bit tankier than the average bear. Yeah. Just make sure we get that stuff. I, I think we have enough spots covered that we would want blood groves on to be a okay already. But I like this. This is ooh. I like this deck. Fight's a little smelly. Come on. We need, like, attack speed and damage to all. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah. It's a little gross. Got another ruins. Easy placement there. Outpost. We may ditch this thing though. But I feel like it's I feel like it's a good enough call anyway. We may end up ditching that village, but it is a slight problem. Good. Good. Another ooh. Shoot, we shouldn't have put down the dang trees. We unlucked out. Uh oh. Kill, 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 kill. Thank you. So there is our guard. Hey, finally, we get to see the guard actually help us. Oh, he puts in work. He steals any uh, good quality loot, though, apparently. Yellows and oranges. I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with it. We, we could say okay. Actually, that doesn't matter for the thief. That doesn't matter for the thief at all. Ooh. Ooh. Evasion counter. 
I, I don't know that I care about those stats that much. I'm tempted to put this on because that is a massive HP increase, but uh, I think we're fine. This I'll, I'll, I'll do it because like the attack speed boost that we have is only what 3%. It's not that big of a deal to me. This is fantastic though. Okay. So far so fun. I'll be first in line. Not bad. Like this is a this is a pretty brutal setup. I'm trying to picture what the uh, nightmare scenario we're going to face is, and I guess it is. Well, first of all, let's start building. Like, okay, ideal. I like if we're gonna have that down, that's pretty ideal. I don't get this. It's not max HP. Can't be. I don't know that either. Like, I don't really like those ones. I was looking for hopefully the... Um, if I were to pick an ideal, it would be the chance to attack multiple targets one for the build that we're going here for here today. Perfect. There's no blood growth for it yet, but I'm... Well, you will get one. Right? We'll get one. Oh, brutal. Got a lot of... Another thicket. Shredding. Absolutely shredding. Oh! We got a hit there. We got a hit in. Uh-oh. It's okay. I think it's worth it, you know, with all the spiders. Yeah, these are, those are spooky. I'm happy we have the, the helpers for, for it. Ooh, this is a little... Yeah, this is a little spooky. Okay, so we wouldn't be able to put down another treasury up there anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, do. Boink, boink. We need damage to all. We need damage to all, or we are gonna have some problems. Do we have some? Maybe we have some. That that's better for us. These guys ain't no thing no more. Oh, yes. Yeah, we got our, our uh, counts lands. Max HP counter. It's an HP boost as well. Sure. Actually, better. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good for now. The, the damage to all, I think we just really need to keep on plugging with. We are going to have to deal with blood golems on these slots. Unless we put villages there, I guess. We could put a village there. That's a weird thing we could do. It's a very weird but very real thing we could do. Or we could fight the Blood Golem, but I think as the, uh, as the thief, I feel like it's kind of a problem. Okay. Yeah, a, a village would block, I think, block his, uh, spawn. Yeah, see, this was shaking, and it, he couldn't go anywhere. There was nowhere for him to go. Uh-oh. 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 The leap. Uh-oh. Another one. Another one. Are they that bad? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, faster. When we start taking damage, we start really taking damage, so we gotta be careful. Uh. Spiders. Well, we'll just make it so they spawn up above. Do we want these wheat fields here? I don't know if we do. But I also don't know if we don't, you know? Alright. We can handle one of these, no problem. It's like literally, it ain't no thing. fine to me. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're actually getting kind of bodied by the spiders right now, but they are providing so much in the way of resources that it's hard to deny their value. Do we take damage on two of these? We do not. We don't take damage on a gargoyle, right? No. No, we don't. No, we don't. Then we get healed back up to full, so we should be all good. Right? We get healed up to full? Oh, absolutely. We get healed up to full before the campfire, even. Level 10. Attack speed bonus. Evasion bonus. Crit damage chance. I want the damage to all up. I feel like that's important. Uh, magic damage. The rest of this stuff, I'm like, eh. Eh. I mean, we could get the huge, just flat damage up, I, I guess. But that... Uh, attack speed, 14%. I'll take it. I mean, if we can do the damage to, if we can do our damage to all that we do faster, like that's pretty good too. Oh, this is, this is a gross room, room, gross layout that worked out okay. Blood golem. There's the blood golem. Yep, we are gonna have to deal with them, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, kill fast, kill fast, kill fast. Thank you. Ah, we can't blood grow up there. Why? Oh, because there's no... Yeah, that, that makes sense. We can't Because we can't put a tree here. A shame, but we'll be okay. Another thicket. What would we oblivion, really? Like, what do we care to oblivion? I'm not sure. Certainly concerned for uh, our boss fight if we're going to be continually lowering our max HP so much, you know? What are we oblivion? Because these aren't causing that big of a problem. Maybe we oblivion the blood golem? Because he only gives us one trophy. It's kind of useless-ish. Useless-ish. Okay. Work. Good. Get a whole resource chunk. Uh, okay. I feel like we kill so many units that that seems like the better call for that. Cannot fight a blood golem there anymore, because they are not allowed in the city. Not permitted. This is uh, this is concerning. Actually, it's not though. The outposts theoretically seem like amazing, you know? Because they don't take our trophies, right? Maybe they do. 
I messed up. I messed up the visual. Hmm. Hmm. Could we turn... Could we put a vampire here, oblivion it, and get away with it? Should we even, if that is a thing? Is that even, yeah, is that even something we should do if we get the chance? I am not so sure. Oh, 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 these thieves. Maybe we get rid of it. Let's a bit, let, we have two oblivions. Let's oblivion the thieves there. They're causing problems. Are they not loud in the count's lands? Defense, attack speed up by quite a bit. Attack speed up, or no, attack speed is the same there. Evasion, evasion bonus. Attack speed 10%, crit damage. Attack speed, counter crit damage. All right, let's just take the massive up damage there. Damage to all is still 12 and we should be doing it much quicker. Yeah, I don't like that we're sacrificing all of the, da the damage to all, but I think we'll be okay there. We should single target bop enemies much more effectively right now, right? Yeah, it's no meat. Okay, it's okay. That dies in one hit, okay. There's an elite gargoyle here. This is probably not great. No, we're just like continually totally fine. Continually and routinely just completely fine somehow. Alright, so there's no blood grove there. It's fine. Oh, we got four. Uh oh. Last second we got four. That's concerning. Nice. Oh, this is a uh, this is a little gross, but we have a we have a helper for what it's worth. Oh, and it's worth a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Boink, boink, one shot, one shot. Okay, one shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. When are we gonna summon another village, and where are they gonna go? I wonder if there's some way to like properly predict, you know? I'm genuinely not sure. They don't help on boss fights, otherwise I would obviously put them near home. Yeah, th these guys must do flat damage on a counter, right? 32, yeah. They do flat damage on the counter. Good. I'm so glad it's not a percentage of what we do. That would be way nastier. Oh, we putting in work. Oh, we putting in work. Good. Good. What is that? It's at minus 24% HP across the board there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I didn't even get attack. He didn't even get an attack either. These poor fools. Okay. Damage to all eight. Oh no. Okay, nice. Uh, attack speed up by quite a bit. Max HP down, whatever, I guess. We'll take it. Damage to all eight, counter. Attack speed up to 17%, but it is a downgrade in damage. Damage to all, crit damage up. Oh boy. That's more magic HP, which is really helpful. And attack speed up instead of damage to all. Fine, I'll do that instead. 
Fine, we'll do that instead. <laughs> Look at them in reverse order, and then we'll be uh, we'll be way better. Uh, okay. All right. We keep it on going. Of course we are. Things are things are working really smooth. Nothing else to say there. Another one of them. We're gonna get another village at some point soon here. That's a fine spot for it. It's not that big of a deal. That blood golem. I do hope we get another village on this loop through here. Otherwise, I think we can handle a single solitary blood golem without that much issue. Killed all but one, I think, there. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. What are we at? We're at minus 20, 26% HP across the board. How could I be mad? Boink. 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 Oh. Okay, this looked really bad. Keywords looked in the past. We, had, we don't have a partner for this one. Yeah. Oh. I okay, got a village. Good. Really? Okay. Wheat fields and vampire mansions. Dang, we have so many wheat fields. We have way too many wheat fields. <laughs> and another one. Wheat fields and vampires. Wheat fields and vampires. Okay. I mean, wow. Give me more outposts, too. I mean, these guys are really helpful. The fact that they take hits for us, too, is just so nice. We might be done with these. Well, actually, the fact that they get guaranteed swallowed up. Oh, if I put it here, he wouldn't, though. All right, well, I guess we're probably done with putting down those for now. Very least until we get another Blood Grove, if that happens. Boink. Boink. Praise be to the base lifesteal of 5% just for being me. Okay. Pop, pop. All right. Oh, my God. Level 14. Damage to all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damage to all only two, though. Damage to all three. Damage to all five. Damage magic damage, damage to all six. Attack speed 20% though. Attack speed 24%. Now that, them some boots. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're getting, uh, we're getting up there. Damage to all is only two though. the base damage is better. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Got another village. Preemptively putting it there, I guess. In case we get another blood grove. It heals us when we don't need it, though, is the kind of the annoying thing there. Another oblivion. Eh? 
anything to Oblivion? I don't think so, because I guess that the uh, the thieves can't go into the Count's lands. Which is a, a wee bit of a surprise there. Yeah, we're pretty much just one shot and everything. At the very least, we are, yeah, we're killing before they get to attack, if, if nothing else. I forgot we had this working up here. When there's a one, a one bopper. Good. Triple spider. Yeah, we can do that with that big damage, too. Elite gargoyle. Is nothing. Oh my god, we're just getting quests on quests on quests on quests. Like it's nothing. I mean, they get increased HP when they're elites, but when we reduce their max HP, I wonder if that happens before or after the increase, you know? Either way, it's good. Wow. Because they are dying omega fast. Triple. Ah, oh, there's the blood grove. Okay. Hmm. I feel like we're running out of... Uh, nope. I was going to say we're running out of spider spots. Spidey holes. <laughs> Tis not the case. Oh my god. Ugh, attack speed up big time. Damage to all. Oh, that's huge. We lose a lot of attack speed, though. Hmm. It's fine. I think that it caps out at 100%, anyways. If I remember correctly. Okay. Body him. Oh, it's super clean. Where do I put a dang spider nowadays? I'm actually gonna, here. Weird thing, I'm gonna put it there so that if we put down more villages, there will not be a bandit camp. There. That's my play there. That's my play. That's why I did that. All right. Okay, you can't, you can't, you can't come out to play, Mr. Blood Golem. You're stuck. We've pretty much, we've gotten a setup that is so good that we perfectly counter every like every problem that is presented to us. We have the counter for it. Preemptively, it's so nice. Can blood golems spawn in village question marks? I assume so. I'm sure I'm sure there's something to do with this. But I don't know what to do. I don't know where to put it. Because I don't want to fight a blood golem. But I want to put it down. I think I will just hit play and just deal with it. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll come up with a good idea in the future. Who knows? Another thicket or so. Just, like I'm kind of wanting to put down this stuff to make sure we keep our oblivions if we uh, if we want them, you know. The spiders are just so easy for us. Uh, you're in the range of the blood golem. So sure. Or not the blood gum, the blood grove. Boink. Boink. I mean, please tell me that the boss does actually get a penalty <laughs> based off of the uh, the attack speed upgrades we have here. Please, oh please. Or the, the HP up downgrade. I. 
truth be told, like, I think we actually may be, you know, putting ourselves in a nasty, nasty spot on accident for the boss. Because, like, we're amazing for short-lived little, uh, little bursts here. We're really good. For other things, I don't know, man. Outposts don't... They, they don't help us against the boss, do they? I, I mean, I know that the, uh, the base thing... The base upgrade does not, for sure. But I don't know about this one. No matter what, I think we... I think today we finally attempt... I think we finally attempt the boss again. And just see what happens. Because we're very, very strong. However, like, boy, it is, it is a situational strength. That is for sure. I want to fulfill that before we go. Okay. Damage, magic, damage. We could get rid of the damage to all, like, right before the boss. Okay. Alright, I think we spawn him next loop here. Maybe we don't care about the damage to all. As hard for this loop. We are, I, we're above the attack speed cap, so. Damage, damage, damage to all evasion up by a lot, defense up by a lot. All right, we'll put on those boots before the boss if we remember. If we remember. Another village, eh? Where do I even? Where do I even? So Oblivion, I want to know, does this... So Oblivion does remove meter. Okay, ah, well, tis with tis. I kind of thought that that might be the case. I wasn't certain. Okay. Doink, a boink, a doink, a boink. We almost took damage. We have so much stuff. We can spawn the boss, right? Like, step one, let's just... Put down some vampire mansion. Oh, well, that's all we got there. Uh, okay. Spider cocoon. We could probably put this down, like, in a, in a legit spot here. To deal with. Okay. Is there anywhere that there's not spiders going? There, I guess. Sure. I mean, evasion would be really nice. We have the two seconds of evasion thing as well. So many freaking wheat fields. It's bizarre. Okay, well, we're gonna spawn. All right. I, I have no idea if we're going to win or not. My guess is... I, I just feel like the answer is no, because I feel like we're countered by long-term fights really hard. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. I don't think this works, but we'll do it anyways. I don't think that works. But there's no reason not to do it, right? Not to try, right? Ba 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 da ba 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 bo ba da bo. Okay. And yeah, right before the boss, we will put on the equipment that we think will be better for a longer term fight. Uh, damage to all. It's, it's, it's not that damage to all has no use, though. Is the thing? It does have a use. 
because it is an AOE-ish boss fight. So, I don't know. Almost, I almost think maybe we do want some. Okay. We're going through the healing gauntlet. No pressure. All right. Evasion is a really good tool for us. Evasion, defense, 14. I mean, maybe. Attack speed counter. Damage all defense. I do think we take that. I don't think anything else is necessarily any better. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. What? What? Oh. Oh, we have to fight the worms? But we do get the helpful. The hunt begins. Get him. Wolf. I hate that we have to fight the worms. I did not realize they would join. Because the vampires have never joined in the past. Oh, that sucks. Wolf. All right. Well. Weird. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Th that's not surprising at all, is the thing. Uh, that's not surprising at all. Uh, <laughs> it does not even remotely blow my mind in the slightest. Wait, how do you get this resource? Don't you get that resource for... Uh... Wait, I'm so confused. From fights with more than four enemies. What? More than four. Not four. Oh, that's annoying. More than four. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we have to... Obviously, we have to mess with that. Increase the hero's strength by 4%. Uh, plus an extra four to the hero's strength. What else can we build? We can build the lumberjack. We could, I guess. We could build the forest. We could build uh, another watchtower. Or we could upgrade the watchtower again. Could we wa like just upgrade it again? Increases their strength. But it also gives us an extra slot, which is a really important thing to think about. Uh, but it does use two of those, which is a little bit of a bummer. Does everything use those that we want? Uh, we could build another one of these that does not use that resource. We could build another forest that does not use that resource. Uh, does this use anything? So this doesn't use anything that the uh, river would use. So there we go. We've done it. We built all four watchtowers, so we have four crossbowmen. Takes one to... Uh, wait. Wait, what? Increase the tower's crossbowman strength. Area of effect is increased by one tile. Wait. So. <laughs> so this. I see. So we have to upgrade the radius for each individual one. Oof. That's kind of spicy. Uh, but yeah, we got body to the boss fight. Like, no, no duh. The worms certainly did not help. Uh, lesson learned on that front. Like, I'm going to say, yeah, I'll say, I said it before, I'll say it again. I'm absolutely not shocked at all that we died. I just thought they're like, you saw how much damage we were doing. There was a chance, but then we just popped. Um, the outpost did work. The worms, unfortunately, also work. Uh, more evasion, absolutely required. What else? I, I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we can just get stronger. I suppose, I suppose. Uh, through these means, that is definitely something we can do. I'm sure we have the ability to win, though. 
I guess evasion. I'm trying to think. Evasion. I just want to unlock the dang freaking river. So we have to do we have to do fights with more than more than four. So we have to bring in vampires and we have to leave them there. And the villages, the corrupt villages, and not oblivioning the uh, the vampires. I guess I thought it was four, but no, 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 no. Okay. Well, alas, doesn't matter. I, th I thought we unlocked another slot there, but I think that's it. only if we uh, upgraded this. Which we could do, but then we'd be using two of that resource, and I everybody keeps telling me that this is game-changing here. We don't have a library, but we uh, again, we don't have that. So, everybody keeps telling me that the, uh, the river is colossal game-changing tiles. So, we'll, we'll probably save up for that. Is there anything we could... Yeah, I guess we could do another lumberjack, theoretically. Uh, is there anything else? We could do a mud hut. We could do a couple mud huts, probably, right? Because that does not use the resource that I am concerned about. Right? No, it literally uses none of it. Mud hut. Mud hut. Everybody wants a mud hut. Okay. Heals 15 HP when you pass the campfire. Uh, attackers receive one damage for every hit. Is this a chance to redirect. Increase damage done to bosses. Yes, please. I'll take another one of those for sure. Plus one defense. Sure. Seems like not a lot, but it is uh, It's helpful. Damage against vampires. I'll take another defense. Helps us pretty universally. Damage back when struck. Sure. All right. So there we go. I mean, that's quite a bit of stuff across the board there. That's pretty helpful. Alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. We shall beat this act soon, I do think. I mean, I, like, there is a uh, an RNG world where we would have won today. Uh, I'm trying to think about the... It's, it's such a it's such a weird balance with the uh, max HP reduction because it clearly... It must apply to the boss. He wouldn't have taken that much damage. He wouldn't have been going down that quickly otherwise. I think that the adds were pretty evasive, I guess, it is what maybe it like, kind of felt like. I don't know. Trying to run it back in my head with the ideal is for that fight with the scenario we had today and i think that it i'm coming to the thought that i guess yeah probably it could be damaged damage all may have actually been the way uh removing the worms i think is important and obviously now that we know that that's a thing we're not gonna i don't think we're gonna put them there anyways just in case we get a situation where we don't have an oblivion in time we're not gonna put them in that spot i like the spirit of what i was doing with that i liked it a lot uh, since, you know, it made so the, the blood grove that we would put there would guaranteed have effect on ones on both sides. But, oh, well. Thank you, everybody, for watching. That's going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching again. <laughs> Second time in a row. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Third time in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Rogue Likes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.